majority of my time I was in Delta Force. Colt Model 723. That was, it would take a while. This is the weapon that I used. Larry? Larry? Oh God, Larry! No! Gentlemen, welcome back to Executive Alchemy's channel. I'm the Talking Hawaiian Shirt, and today we're going over my retro Colt carbine. All right, 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 all right. So one thing I really enjoy about the retro carbon that this is, I call it the, the quasi uh, Black Hawk Down, quasi Acid Gambit, LAV rifle of some variety. So what inspired this build was, uh, first off, the gun is a base Colt AR-15A2 platform. Larry Vickers, funny enough, is actually a big inspiration for this build. I saw Larry Vickers' uh, Colt 727 video. 727. What are you? An idiot sandwich. And I was hooked. I wanted to build a retro rifle such as that. And about the same time that I got this is when the idea popped in my head. And of course, if you know and follow me for a while now, you know that once I get an idea in my head, I gotta follow through. So essentially this gun's actually very simple. Not a lot going on here, and it makes for a very fun, pleasant shooting package. Though the parts on here and the gun itself are old and dated, the concepts behind it are still hold up true today. So, the gun itself is pretty simple with a light red dot and a ready mag on it. Pretty basic features that make for a very fun gun to shoot. So the gun itself, like I said, is pretty simple. You have a Surefire 660 on a weaver mount attached to the barrel. Doesn't mess with the harmonics of the barrel. I don't know, I'm not an expert. I'm just some dude having fun on the flat range. You're gonna have an Aimpoint 2000. Now this one came silver, I bought it off eBay. Uh, and then I realized I don't want a silver Aimpoint, so I spray painted it black. It's wearing away quite nicely. You'll see it in the B-roll footage. It's attached to the Vortex mounts. I believe these Vortex mounts are gonna be the 20 millimeter Vortex. One inch, two mounts. Uh, this aim point tube is a little bit smaller than say like an aim point pro or comp not m2 so I'll take that into account you can see my pressure pad duct tape on here the guys ask me a lot hey what's going on with the mag well this is a ready mag system the mark one i wanted to get as retro with it as possible i thoroughly enjoy it it's retro gun it's retro style but it still kind of holds up to today's standards because you have a red dot you have a good white light and that's all you need for a good fighting carbine still an ar-15 it's still good to go Gentlemen, uh, I, hate to, I hate to do this, show myself out for money, but the channel does cost money to run. So in any way, shape, or form that you can support the channel, i.e. my Patreon that helps me out a lot, uh, there's different tiers of the Patreon, of course. Head on over there, check it out. Link is down in the description below. If you don't care about it, whatever, I understand, but it costs money to run this bitch, so anything helps. All right, boys, catch you on the flip. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. That sounds like a like an announcer. Very space. Are you following me, camera guy? <laughs> Ow, it's pointing.